Well, fall has officially fallen, and I bet you are wanting to know the best way to add some color to your house to celebrate for the holidays. Well, I believe today that I have just the thing, and you're going to definitely want to stick around and check it out to the end, because once the sun goes down, we're going to be looking at these in the dark. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get to it. So yes, as you can see, I'm coming to you from my backyard. I decided to do this outside because you know what? It's so beautiful out here today and fall is in the air. Temperature is perfect. Unfortunately, we have to do uh, set our clocks back tonight, which is terrible because then we lose that hour of sunlight in the evening, which I love. But I just want to come out here and do this outside because you just don't get many opportunities to do this kind of thing with it being so beautiful. But today we are going to show you a product that you're going to be able to use to add some amazing color to your patio, maybe your front patio, the awning, anywhere outdoors in your house that you want to add some color. This is going to take care of that. Today's video is sponsored by XM Cozy. And we're going to be showing you this RGB string light set. XM reached out to me a few weeks back and asked if I wanted to do a review on one of their outdoor lighting products. And of course, I said, yes, absolutely. That would be awesome. So they sent me out a set of string lights that I am going to be replacing the old string lights I have here on my patio. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. My current lights are, they're older. They're not smart lights. They're just one color. I put them up, I don't know, it's been years. And I was actually thinking about, you know, upgrading them this year anyways. And then when XM Cozy reached out to me to uh, review one of their lighting products, I was like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, talk about divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Save me some money and give me some awesome lights. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox these. I'm going to show you what you have inside the box. And then I'm going to show you the lights that I'll be replacing. And then we're going to get them hung up. And when night falls, we're going to do some testing and see how amazing these are. Because these look really fantastic. I actually did a little bit of uh, reviewing them from other people's reviews they look pretty awesome so i'm super super excited to get these hung up so again thank you so much to xm cozy for sending me these lights and don't forget if you like this content make sure you hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe because you want to make sure and tell that youtube algorithm that you're enjoying this content and if you want to see more uh just let me know if you'd like to see something else uh, reviewed let me know in the comments section i'll be happy to do that of course these products here will be linked in the description so you can go check them out for yourself. They are affiliate links. So if you do purchase from the link, I really appreciate that because it certainly helps the channel and continues to allow me to do these kind of things. So I appreciate the support. Let's get to it. Let me get these unboxed and let's get these installed. Okay, so first things first, the old lights I have are connected to this smart switch right here because the this string of lights right here is not a smart strand. They're just a regular strand of lights. And as you can see, they go up the wall right here. And I have them attached to that beam there. And then they kind of string across. I got them crisscrossed over. They come up this way and they go back over there and then they go down the end over there. And it's roughly right at 100 feet. So this set of lights that I have is 98 feet long. So it should be more than plenty because I actually have a little bit of extra that like comes up behind the couch. So you can't really even see. All right. So we're going to get these unboxed. So again, this is the XM Cozy Smart RGB CW string lights. They are 98 feet in length and there's roughly 30 bulbs. And just to kind of go over some of the features real quick. So you have the ability of controlling the lights with the app. You can actually sync the lights using your phone's microphone to music, which is kind of cool if you're going to be doing like a little party scene. It does support 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth pairing. You can turn them on and off with a timer or countdown. You can actually set each bulb individually to its own color, which is really cool 
which is going to be able to give you that you know ability to have those custom scenes and of course they have the dynamic lighting with multiple presets for holiday party and events which the holiday is kind of what i'm looking for to because obviously now that halloween is over we're coming into thanksgiving and then christmas and then of course new year's and uh yeah so the party is just going to keep going for the next couple months <laughs> so it ought to be pretty fun and so i'm really looking forward to getting these hung up again i have some lights that go around the ground they're actually govi lights and they are colored but they don't really give off the kind of overhead lighting obviously that i want to achieve so these are going to help me do that yeah i've been really looking forward to these coming in unfortunately i could not get them before halloween because of course the halloween thing would have been kind of cool has some scary music but um that's okay next halloween right so let's get the box open see what we got inside and then we'll get them prepped and then i'm going to get the ladder out and we're going to get this other string taken down and get these put up shouldn't take too long and hopefully when i'm done the sun will be going down and we can kind of check these out in the dark which is going to be really cool so let's get the box open here and see what we got so this is a huge strand of lights oh wait we have some instruction and here looks like we have some zip ties and we have some other um, fasteners where you can screw these to like the wall or you know any other surface you can get a screw into they do give you a couple extra um, bulbs which is really cool so i appreciate that now i'm not going to need to use these brackets right here so i already have these mounted up on the rail that these are going to sit on and how they're strung uh, because i don't really have any way of screwing them in and these have actually held up really really well i did buy some extras just in case as i'm taking the old ones down if any of these clips break or come off i'll have some extras where i can remount it these have held up really really well i'll actually link these in the description as well because these are coming really handy they're super cheap uh, they have their own little sticky pads that you can actually take off pretty easily super helpful now as far as these lights um <laughs> yeah it's kind of a jumbled mess of wires i guess here but you know one cool thing too i forgot to mention is that these are daisy chainable is that a word daisy chainable well it is today so you can actually connect another string to this string where you can have an extremely long set of lights if you needed it let's say you wanted to string these around your fence around your backyard you'd be able to daisy chain from one set to the next and uh which is super helpful i think that's a really uh nice features that they add and of course here is the big power block and all of this is weather rated so you don't have to worry about this being exposed now fortunately for me because of where i want to mount it over here on the side i have an extension cord that's actually underneath the awning so even though it will be exposed to weather it's not going to be uh, exposed to like direct sunlight or direct rainfall and uh so i don't think that's going to be an issue but even if you even if it was it is rated to be outdoors so it's not a problem uh, these bulbs here are a plastic bulb they're not metal so you don't have to worry about this right here shattering which is extremely important because like for me where this side over here hangs down the wall when it's really windy these do kind of um, brush against the brick and surprisingly the set that's in there now um, has lasted really really well i have had only one bulb go out in the last couple of years they've been up so i'm hoping these will be as resilient and as reliable uh, because if so i'm gonna get a long long life out of these which is gonna be awesome and this cable here is a little thicker than the cable i have currently uh, wrapped around the clips but these clips have more than enough room to fit these in so i don't think that's going to be a problem at all so i think what i'm going to do next is i am going to go get the ladder get this old light set off i think i'm going to kind of unstring these maybe lay them out so i can get them all stretched out let's go get the ladder <sighs> those of you who watched my other video where i mounted that exterior camera will recognize that ladder 
And let me just tell you that this ladder has probably been one of the best purchases I've ever made for my home. It's been like a lifesaver doing projects like this. So I'll link that in the description too, if you wanna go check it out. All right, so I just thought I'd give you, a, uh, take a look real quick and you can see how I have those little clips and you can see how the strand is just going from you know beam to beam. Should be pretty simple. So let's get to it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this unwrapped. <laughs> Okay, let me just say that untangling that mess of wires was way more difficult than what I expected. <laughs> way more difficult. Because of the bulbs, you know, the wire just didn't slide very easily. But once I kind of got about halfway through, it got much easier. But whew, man, let's see how this works. Yeah, I think that's good, actually. Okay, so I need to take the old one completely down first and then route the new one because I can't string over top of it. Anyways, I wanna do that and I'll be back. All right, so the old strand of lights are down and it wasn't as bad as I thought. Now I just have to get these routed and we're gonna be stringing across diagonally. Let's get to it. All right, well, that is done. Got to finish cleaning up a little bit, but let me show you what it looks like. Now I will have to say these are a little bigger and they are a little heavier. So I'm hoping that those clips that I already have there will hold. But yeah, this uh, went off just like I was hoping without a hitch. Looking forward to the sun going down. I'll get the app paired up and we'll check it out. I'll see you then. All right, well, as you can see behind me, I've got the lights mounted, they're turned on. So we're gonna go ahead and get the app installed and get it configured, and we're gonna test them out. I'm also gonna try to test out the music feature where you're supposed to be able to play music on your phone, or excuse me, play music and have your phone be able to listen to the music using its microphone, and the lights will react to the actual music, which is kind of cool, because if you're gonna have a little party or something, uh, that would be a pretty awesome little thing to have. So we're going to get into my phone here in just a moment. We're gonna get into the app, get it set up, programmed, and then we're going to test out the lights. And I will leave the camera up so you can see the lights changing and see how they function. So let's get to it. We're gonna go ahead and get the app installed and they make it really easy because they give you the instructions and as you can see the instructions has a qr code they can just scan and then tap the link and it will take you to the download where it takes you to your google play store or if you're on iphone it'll take you to your app store so let's go ahead and install it so let's go ahead and open the app agree sign up so here we are, add device. Now, as you know, as you can see, the lights are already on. So let's add a device. And we're gonna leave the location on. We have the RGBC lights. Make sure you get the right ones here. Okay, they're plugged in, they're powered on. Oh, I need to hold the switch on the controller for five seconds. Okay, I did that. There they are flickering. Nice. Yes, I confirm they're blinking. And we need to connect to a different Wi Fi here. Because these are only supports 2.4 gigahertz instead of 5 or 6 gigahertz, which is silly. But a lot of manufacturers do that. It says it's on 5 gigahertz, but that network is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. Um, and it should know that it's on. 2.4 because it should automatically connect to that bandwidth and maybe it's not okay so apparently we can switch pairing mode which i'm going to do because i'm not going to go through all that changing out the network name that's ridiculous so let's turn them off turn them back on okay so once i enabled bluetooth found it and it's adding it at least they give you the bluetooth option now they're all set to this cool white oh that's cool i like how you can literally just click on one bulb and change it individually. Oh, 
cool all right you can probably see up there at the top it's changing the bulb from the bright white to the warm temperature very cool so now here's what i really wanted to do so we have these pre-made scenes they have specific colors and patterns in which they will actually just kind of roll through the bulbs and change their color so let's see what life is so there's holiday trend let's see festival ah christmas because that's what's coming up so i'm actually going to favorite that and let's go ahead and click on christmas and let's see what my options are here so it says jump i think i want rainbow effect oh wow, that's very cool change the speed of it i like that okay that's what i want right there that's nice so the graduation effect for christmas um, allows the lights to kind of roll through the different light colors which is awesome and i'm going to put christmas just to name it something different so see now it puts it in the diy section you know you if you change it you have to save it as something new apparently it's party <laughs> yeah that's crazy that's really throwing a party for sure and that's fast and that's only 15 percent speed <laughs> so what's the trend let's see oh nice that kind of like rolls through them oh i see that kind of bounces around that's kind of cool too so here's thanksgiving which we just you know came out of um, Halloween and Thanksgiving's coming up and that's kind of cool but I'm not sure those colors kind of match what would be a Thanksgiving theme I would think like is that just gonna delete one color yes it just deletes one color nice okay so and yeah, so down here you change the color so like if I'm gonna add a color as you see I added that because I deleted the yellow um, which I didn't really mean to so when you go to add a color or you actually click on another spot you don't have to delete it you can just change it so we're gonna make that one a little more orange and this one we're gonna leave you know, let's take it a little less orange let's let this one to be red and yeah we'll leave that one yellow so let's save this as thanksgiving day two again just to be simple now see that's more thanksgiving colors yellow orange red that's cool i like that so here's christmas the one that i pre-programmed myself has there's so much in here i mean you can make this do almost well yeah you can make this do anything you want it to you would just need to you know custom each light if you want to actually custom each light which is very cool so let's go back over here and i'm gonna go back to thanksgiving okay that's very cool i like that a lot so it's kind of a slow cycling through the light colors. Very cool, very cool. Let's see what's over here. So this right here, you have a countdown timer, uh, which is kind of cool. I guess if you wanted to, you know, have them on for just, you know, two hours, four hours, six hours, you could just set the timer. So when they come on, they'll just automatically shut themselves off. Let's see what other options we have here. Okay, so you could actually like, perform an action so let's pick every day because i want every day my lights to turn on to execute thanksgiving scene and i want it to be at six o'clock because now it's getting dark early and then we're going to add another scene so i guess you can't set it to turn off by the timer you'd have to turn the countdown on so if I want it from six to 11, so we're gonna do five hours then. So we want them to run for five hours. Okay, well, I mean, that works. As long as it's cutting off a particular time frame, because um, I don't want them to run past 11. I usually, 11 o'clock is when I usually have the lights shut off. So that works. So I'm gonna leave that plan enabled. Let's see, so here is the music. Let's, let's see if I can, let me, uh, let me attach to the speaker. Let's see if I can play some music. So I'm kind of curious how that's gonna work. Let's go over here to YouTube Music. We're gonna cast music to that. There we go. How about some Steve Aoki and Lil John with Get Lower? <laughs> so let's go back over here to the lights and say rhythm. 
while using the app. <laughs> That's very cool. Let's try something different here. Oh, this is a cool song. And that's very cool. So it changes the lights based on the type of music you're playing. So the colors are different. I like it. That's awesome. So let's see if it goes back to my preset after that's done. And it does not. So once you get done playing music, if you want to have it, you know, do one of your scenes, your DIYs or pre-made, then you have to come back in and actually click the scene. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So we have the timer. So every day the lights are going to turn on at 6 p.m. And they're going to run for four hours. And the scene is going to be the thanks scene. Because I can't spell Thanksgiving apparently. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. And so in Christmas time, once Thanksgiving is over, I'll probably come out and do a little custom uh, Christmas theme. Which... It's gonna be kind of cool. So let's look at the settings we have. So my home and I'll just name this our home, Google Assistant. All right, so we have to go to the Google Home app to add that to the Assistant. So we're gonna do that. Oh, this is what I want right here. Okay, so under automation, under our home, you can set the automated scene to run. Okay, so you can click control single device and then click on your lights, select scene. Okay, so any conditions met, six o'clock, then we're going to have it come on to a scene. I'm gonna have max brightness and I'm gonna have it turn the LED lights on. Oh look, it even tells you the outdoor temperature and humidity. It's very nice, very cool. Okay, let's add this to the Google Home app here. And go to the settings, and we're going to choose works with Google. And it should be under XM, I assume. There it is, XM Cozy. Continue. Nice, okay. So actually, you wouldn't even have to use the settings in the app as far as the automation to turn them on and off and for particular times you can just use your Google Home app to do that because I already have some automation set up for the patio so I can just add this into that automation setting for the patio and not have to worry about creating another automation so that's really cool yeah so see I have a lot of other things that are out here so actually this right here, oops, wrong one. Go to scene. And I'm actually going to, well, let's just turn it off. I won't delete it. I was gonna delete it. Let's just turn it off. Nice. Okay, well, that was pretty, pretty simple. Pretty easy. Again, the only real issue I had was the pairing because it doesn't support the five gigahertz network it only supports the 2.4 however one thing that i can say in their behalf is that they did give you the option of connecting to the hotspot that it was broadcasting so it kind of broadcasts its own wireless network and that way you can just connect to it and it'll add the light strip so that is very cool let's turn this patio light off there yeah, that's much better so you can see it rolling through the different colors. Without the patio light on, you can really see the colors good. I like that a lot. And of course you can see on the ground, I have the Gobi lights that are set to just kind of this orange color. And uh, I wonder if I can somehow maybe sync them because that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but it's Gobi, it's not um, XM Cozy. So they're different. But there you have it. So again, I want to give a big shout out to XM Cozy for providing me these lights. Uh, they look really cool. I really enjoy having the ambient lights in the different colors. 
I really like being able to change it for uh, you know Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July. It's going to be pretty awesome. And they were really easy to set up. Again, the only issue was the wireless situation, but that got resolved pretty quickly. So that was nice. All this is gonna be linked in the description. So go check it out. You'll love it. The holidays are coming up and now's the time to buy it. You can get them on sale and just go check out the link and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.